black and white. Sussex clearly reflects their moral corruption opposite Cambridge's new dignity. Prince William and Kate Middleton will attend the traditional St. Patrick's Day parade for the Irish Guards, a parade they have attended many times together in the past but missed the past two years. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are set to take part in a fun royal tradition they've been forced to miss for two years running. Next week on March 17, the pair will attend the traditional St. Patrick's Day parade at Mons Barracks in Aldershot alongside the 1st Battalion Irish Guards. Prince William is Colonel of the Irish Guards and he and Kate have attended the annual event many times together in the past. Last year's parade was cancelled owing to the COVID-19 outbreak, and the 2020 parade was cancelled since the majority of the regiment was deployed overseas. During Thursday's event, Kate will present sprigs of shamrock to the officers and guardsmen, who in turn will issue it along the ranks, a tradition carried out by royal women since 1901. She will also present the regimental mascot, an Irish wolfhound, with his own sprig of shamrock, while William will take the salute during a march past. Following the parade, the couple will meet members of the regiment for an official photo and visit the junior ranks dining hall, where they will take a toast, no doubt with a pint of traditional Guinness. It will be a busy week for William and Kate next week, with several big events in their diary. On Monday they will be at Westminster Abbey for the annual Commonwealth Day service along with all of the other royals. Then, two days after their St. Patrick's Day event, Tihe will begin their eagerly awaited Caribbean tour. Buckingham Palace confirmed last month that they would be travelling to the Caribbean for a week-long trip to help mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The tour will begin on March 19 and end on March 26. It will visit Belize, Jamaica, and the Bahamas. According to Kensington Palace, William and Kate will tour historic Mayan sites in Belize, as well as celebrate the Garifuna community's rich culture and explore the country's wildlife. In Jamaica, they will engage with the Jamaican Defence Force and celebrate the legacy of Bob Marley and other groundbreaking Jamaican musicians alongside potential stars of the future. In the Bahamas, the Cambridges will visit a number of islands and experience a world-famous Junkanoo parade. A Kensington Palace spokeswoman said, Their Royal Highnesses are very much looking forward to the visit, which will be their first joint official overseas tour since the onset of COVID-19 in 2020. On the other side, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are facing criticism for breaching royal protocol after the couple spoke on the attacks in Ukraine. In a statement on their organization Archul's website the Duke and Duchess of Sussex called for the global community and its leaders to join them in condemning Russia, adding that their actions was a breach of international and humanitarian law. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and all of us at Archul stand with the people of Ukraine against this infringement of international and humanitarian law, and encourage the rest of the world and its leaders to do the same, the message stated. However, with the couple's message, some royal fans questioned their move, believing that they breached the royal rule of remaining neutral like the rest of the royal family even though they have stepped down from their roles. One Twitter user said, isn't this against the royal protocol they have to be seen neutral after all his is still a prince. While another commented, if they choose to comment on political issues, they should return his title given to him by the British Queen. By making a statement as the Duke, and she by affiliation, they represent themselves as an extension of the BRF. That is irresponsible and dangerous. Other users said that Harry and Meghan were jumping on bandwagon, sick, but on the flip side a number of fans were pleased to see the couple show their support for Ukraine. See the couple show.